Art here. I just wanted to let you know that the PulseChain.com mainnet has launched and PulseX.com on that mainnet has launched as well. I hope you guys are all enjoying it. We waited a couple years for this and it's finally here. Hey everybody and welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm an hour early. Can you believe it? I'm an hour early, but that's because daylight savings has started and I forgot about it. When <laughs> So uh, there we are. I remembered it about a week ago and then I forgot it today. So we're an hour early. Uh, I may end up rescheduling my day, uh, but uh, we will see for tomorrow. Uh, get back to uh, the UTC times normally when I do it at the end of UTC, which is uh, when the uh, hex uh, payments come out so we'll uh, we'll see if i can reset it tomorrow properly uh, but we're a bit early today uh but never fear uh does that mean summer's coming uh, at least for at least for us down in new zealand australia pacific islands it's gonna be a lot of fun uh so uh we're gonna get into it we got the big news today one of the big protocols has launched which is fame uh and of course we have covered that two days ago we talked about pulse chain being famous uh, and that uh, the launch was coming pretty soon. Well, it has arrived uh, about nine hours ago, I think, something like that. Uh, so exciting times. We're going to get into all that. Uh, margin trading up to 30x leverage as well, or perpetual swaps, uh, whatever term, sort of term you want to use. Uh, and uh, very cool. So uh, really exciting to see this uh, on Pulse Chain. It really is another DeFi offering. You own your keys, your coins. Uh, and of course, it's a little bit different from centralized exchanges, of course because uh, you are on chain but it's uh, really really exciting and uh, gives the people the ability to uh, maybe they want to short richard hart coins they can do that maybe they want to go long uh maybe they become justin believers uh, all sorts of things so it's really really excited uh, exciting to see that uh so we're going to go a little bit into that so hopefully that will be a bit of fun and uh what else are we going to do i think we're going to uh <laughs> we're going to talk about um, what are we talking about? We're going to talk about uh, the market prices at the moment. So we're going to go through that. We're going to go talk about Pulse X. Uh, we're also going to talk about a couple of project updates. We're going to talk about um, Spark, uh, Coast, uh, TYCZ, and uh, Zen Game. We're going to have updates on all those four. They're going to be quick updates on those. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're going to get into a lot of other details. So stay tuned for all that. I'm just trying to get, uh, realized I forgot something here. So I'm just adding that in now. Uh, so it's going to be cool. Let's let me do something here for a quick, quick moment. Uh, let's connect that up. And uh, connect. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, right. Let us uh, queue up this and say hello to people in the chat. I knew I had to get myself up to speed. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit more like some of the other formats some of the other influencers do. They know they sort of muck around at the beginning. I know there's a couple of them. Sort of muck around for about up now, and they get a oh, you guys are here watching. Oh, yeah, it's in the get, get start like that. Uh, we've got Hex Grader in house there. Woo, let's get let's get it. Absolutely, Hex Grader, welcome. It's probably an hour earlier for you, Hex Grader. That might be a good thing, too. Uh, we've got Lies Beneath in the house here. Good to see you, Lies. Uh, and of course, uh, the ultimate strategy here, Hex EHP, LS, PLS, Hex, and Center for the 100%, the golden strategy. Uh, that is true. And accumulation time, we're on accumulation time. Uh, at Fast Abdul says, uh, daylight savings is a government lie. Fight the power, says Fast Abdul. Um, and uh, we've got Brian and Health there, community leader. What's up, folks? Good to see you, Brian. Uh, you just have to go an extra hour today, boss, says Brian. Yeah, no, I won't be doing that because I've got to go for my walk. I've got to do my walk. Uh, what am I, walk number 60? I think it's walk 60 today. Pretty sure it's walk 60. I'll have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure I'm on walk 60. Um, Pretty sure about that. I'm sure yesterday was Walk 59. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Walk 60 today. We've got Hectrog in the house as well. Woo good to see Hectrog. Welcome to the chat there. And uh, I think that's it. We've got about uh, 20 people in the house, so uh, welcome. And I'm an hour early, so how about that? Not bad. Uh, let's get into the news, and uh, let's uh, shine on. Bam, look where I went to. Back to the back plate there. And let's uh, bring up the uh, main mainstay there. Uh, so we had uh, Fame here announce uh, G'day, Fame.io is now live on Pulse Chain Mainnet. Haters, we dare you to short RH coins, uh, Hex, uh, Bitcoin, PulseX, etc. Uh, Pulse, they have a couple of different uh, front ends. Now they got dap.fame.io, which is an IPF, IPFS in main. They got app.fame.io, non-IPSF in main there. 
and they got debt one dot fame dot io uh and it got hash trade there on that one so uh that's a backup for the ipfs uh so we've got a few sites there uh we'll give that a little retweet uh they've got a big following so they've had twenty one thousand two hundred views that's a fantastic start folks i could say that's one of the bigger bigger protocols launching on pulse chain uh great to see it and of course it's the last of the big ones from the ph universe so ph universe uh had uh, it's got the fatty wallet uh, it's got uh, where you can track your portfolio and do a few other things. Uh, it's got the PHUX, which is a fork of balance, so they've launched that. Uh, they've got Fiat, they launched just that one, and that's a fork of Aave. Uh, so we've got Balancer and Aave on Pulse Chain, and now we have a GMX fork uh, with the Famous. So we've got uh, big, big four projects there. Three, the three, of course, particularly utilities. And of course, now they're going to go move on to working on the synergies between them. Uh, obviously, some platforms you can do certain things. There's another options there. Uh, one of the obvious ones, of course, is borrow borrow low uh, low interest and lend out higher interest on one of the other protocols. For example, maybe Aave uh, to Balancer, uh, you know, to the uh, uh, PHUX fork. So from Aave, borrow an Aave, put it into Balancer, something like that, and you're, you're earning the difference in the margin, which could be quite handsome, right? So there's lots of options there. And obviously, there's now even more options with Famous and leveraging. You can borrow cheap and leverage out high so uh that's the sort of stuff you can do um if you don't have a token you can go get on one of the other pr protocols like Aave and bring it over on fame and do some leverage if that's for you now obviously if you're not into leverage or margin trading this is not for you that's simple as that um but there's a big part of crypto market that uh, that is out there uh, doing margin trading on centralized exchanges that's huge business and of course gmx is ranked about 100 number 100 on coin gecko and of course, this is a fork of GMX, so it's going to be fun to see this ramp up as well. I think it's worth about half a billion dollars, so uh, we'll see what fame is worth in due course. Uh, we're going to look on PHUX as well and look at some of the liquidity. So really, really awesome news uh, there from the team. I'm going to post the link uh, to their tweet there uh, if you want to get access to all those uh, official links there. Uh, so we'll post that in the chat. And that is it there. Bam. Bam. Uh, so there we go. All right. So that is the link there. If you want to get access to those official links for the the protocol. Uh, let's see what else is in here. We've got uh, Scott Jackson. Good morning, all. Good to see you, Scott. Welcome to chat. There we've got Andrew Reynolds as well. Happy weekend, all. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a good time. Saturday still in Northern Hemisphere. It's Sunday in the Southern Hemisphere at the moment. Uh, what else? Uh, Sandy Beach says, hi, Hex Token, everybody. Are we live now? Yeah, I'm out, an hour early because of daylight savings, Sandy. We just switched over and I forgot about it. I forgot about it. It's you know, a typical thing, you know. It's always uh, what, 10%. No, it's probably higher than that. It's probably like 50% that forgets about it. Uh, so there we are. I'm in, I'm in that today. I remembered a week ago, but I forgot today. Just the way it goes. Now, they've done a few other tweets ar around this. They had a Twitter space. They'd never seen to record them for some reason. I have no idea why. Um, but they've had Twitter spaces about uh about the launch of fame and all sorts of stuff about the markets uh sort of thing so that had that too uh which is pretty cool so uh yeah they got five thousand three hundred followers on there it's gonna be fun to watch them uh as well so uh yeah fame famous a decentralized gmx fork so and bullish if you want to look at that fully we covered it yes uh two days ago uh famous and we also covered gmx as well we use gmx uh, because famous wasn't launched so you can check that out all right let's jump over to uh the actual protocol there's the protocol here uh, I'm using the dat.fame.io link. Uh, now, you could, you know, we may, we may do some uh, trades on here because uh, the minimum trade is $10. So uh, we may have a little, I might do little sessions here and there uh, of watching, doing some trades. So that's going to be fun uh, to do it. Now, obviously, uh, there are t a, a, a several uh, features on the site. Let's just quickly go through them. Uh, we've got uh, over here, we've got the list of the menu on, as, as a vertical. Uh, and of course, we've got our details about the other DATs, uh, PHUX there, uh, Fiat and Fatty, uh, the other protocols there. So PHUX being a fork of balancer, uh, Fiat a fork of Aave and Fatty there. I don't know if that's a fork of anything, but that's their uh, their wallet uh, management there. Uh, and then, of course, you can see the horizontal menu. Uh, we've got the dashboard and that gives you all the details about uh, the tokens. We've got PHLP there. That's the liquidity pool side uh, that gets 6% of the fees. Uh, we can also see breakdown here too on the circle about different assets in it. Those assets there and that's that graphic uh, reflect uh, the composition of PHL uh, liquidity down here. Uh, Pulse, Pulse X, Hex, Rap, ETH, ETH there, Rap Bitcoin, uh, DAI, uh, Rap USDC and Rap USD Tether there. And we can see the pool sizes here at the moment. Uh, so we've got a lot of Pulse in there, obviously. 
uh, $293,000, $123,000 of Pulse X, etc. Uh, going down there. So it's pretty cool. And lots of stable coins. Uh, the weight target there, uh, they've got the weight targets there as well. Uh, current weight 34%, uh, target weight 25%. So they want to get, uh, uh, they're a bit overweight on that one. Basically, there's a lot more Pulse uh, than the target. Uh, yeah, PLS is above the target weight. So uh, there we've got some of them under. This one here is below. Wrapped ETH is below the target weight. So they're trying to get, you know, obviously target weight there. They've also got the important one here, utilization. How much of that capital is utilized, I guess, is uh, the, the answer to that one uh, as well. And the platform in terms of being lending, uh, lent out. Uh, so what have we got here? We've got uh, the overview of the pool. So far, this is straight out of the gate. So what are we, nine hours plus? They already had it on mainnet before they let it public. So it, was, it wasn't public. Uh, they put in about half a million dollars. Uh, so we're up to, you know, what are we, eight hours in or something like that. Uh, eight, we're, I got 844,000. So that suggests, you know, give or take price, you know, assets moving around, prices moving around. Uh, we've probably got, uh, let's say, I get $350,000 have been added into that pool. I suggest it's going to be get quite big, this pool. Um, and so this is just early days. So uh, this is going to be fun to watch this grow. And uh, Pulse Chain is about growth. So it's going to be cool. Uh, long positions, two hundred four thousand dollars in long positions. So long positions, as you remember from two days ago, is you are you are betting that the price will go up of the asset that you're you're going long on, right? Uh, you're betting it's going to go up. Short positions, sixty two thousand. Uh, you're betting on the price going down of the asset that you're betting on. Um, so uh, yeah, people, not so many people are used to betting on the price going down. <laughs> but of course, uh, if you had done this on the SEC event and, and betting on that, you'd you'd been uh, a super rich, right? Super rich, or well, at least as rich as the pool. Uh, that's in here. Uh, so total volume there, uh, one 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 million seven hundred sixty thousand dollars. So that's pretty cool on the total volume position. Uh, fees earned so far, just at what eight hours in the gate or whatever, uh, about six thousand nine hundred dollars. Uh, Twenty four hour fees there, four thousand three hundred. So we were watching all these metrics. These are the starting off metrics. Uh, and if you want to come back to this uh, this video in the future to see how's how's it grown, then you can come back and look at uh, these numbers. In fact, I'll I'll just scale it up a little bit so you can see that. Those are the opening numbers, well, at least eight hours or so after after the launch. So pretty cool. Uh, yeah, they've got a few other metrics here. Uh, the market price here of PHLP, uh, $1.045. They've also got an AV price there, $1.029. Uh, what else is supply? They've got 820,000 PHLP tokens at the moment. Now, that is that will, that number doesn't have a particular maximum, but uh, it, well, it doesn't have a particular um uh, a limit, but it can actually just flex with the amount of liquidity that's getting put under the system, right? Um, so the, you could have a lot more PHLP, uh, but there are, I think there are caps on the system um, in terms of where, how much they're going to allow to be on there. Uh, so the total amount that's going to be on here versus, say, the, the amount of liquidity that's on Pulse Chain altogether, on Pulse X, for example, uh, they've got to manage that so that whales cannot manipulate here or there, like the XGOL whale or, or DO1 wallet or any of those kind of uh, accounts. Uh, that uh, you know may do could do stuff potentially, um, so that's important. And what else? Their market cap 844k at the moment, so super cheap uh, on the market cap. And we'll be watching that, uh, see how it grows over time. Stable coin percentage 31.6 percent, so it's a pretty good balance. We know that uh, you know stable coins over market cap over all crypto is about 12 percent. Um, so you know it's a really strong strong indicator there as well. And especially you'd expect a lot more into these protocols. So that's the dashboard. Uh, we've got the earn protocol in a tab as well. This is for you. Uh, if you don't want to uh, do margin trading, you don't have to trade at all. You can make money by uh, give it, lending money out to people that do trade. Uh, and if you can, one option is buying the Fame token on the market. Uh, and some people have sacrificed for that. So they got uh, Fame token. Uh, some people got some airdrop. If you had P uh, uh, Fiat, you would have got some airdrop there as well. I think they allocated something like 5% or something like that to that. Um, so you've probably got tokens. You can actually go and stake it now. Uh, you can stake in the protocol pretty easy, and you can accrue 40% of the platform's generated fees. Uh, what are they so far, of course? We know that the last 24 hours, 4,300, but it's early days, right? It's just launched, so uh, we'll be watching for that too. Uh, so that is, uh, oh, where did I go there? I don't want to go there. Uh, so that is pretty cool. And, of course, you can read more about that. Uh, your assets on there, you can put assets on there, of course. Uh, you got the fame price, all the details about that, uh, total supply, total stakes. Percentage stake, they're 33% staked already. That's pretty good. Uh, we've got 55 million fame in existence. It's worth $32 million at the moment based on market price. Uh, we've got the total staked at 18.7 million. Uh, so 33% of the fame token is staked at the moment.
Uh, not bad. Uh, there is an unlocking period, 14 days, a withdrawal window, seven days. So there's a bit of a, a, a gatekeeping there in terms of trying to keep assets uh, staked and stuck off the market. Uh, you got the PHLP price down there. We looked at that already. Uh, and that's pretty cool. So you get 40% of the platform's fees. And on the PHLP there, you get 60% uh, of the generated fees there. So the more people that use this, the bigger the bigger players, uh, the more fees they're going to be generated on this protocol, which is pretty cool. And you can provide liquidity uh, on the FAME protocol to do that, right? You click that and you'll be able to provide a liquidity there, which is pretty cool. Uh, and you'll be in this pool, be in the pools here somewhere. That's pretty cool. Um, and you're in 6% of the fees there. Uh, let's jump to the stats. It's got a stats page. Uh, it's on a separate page here. Uh, wow, this is cool. So uh, this is going to continue to go up. You'll get see all the fees. Number of users so far. Uh, so 132. Uh, they're up 125. I think there were like six or six people on the team or something like that that were using this before it went public, uh, even when it was on the, on the um, mainnet there. And so the, we'll be watching this number here too. So you can come back to this video in the future and have a look to see uh, whether whether uh, how, how it's been growing. Is this just showing 1,000 users uh, in a week or something? Is this showing 2,000 in two, two weeks? You know, whatever it's going to be, we'll see. And, of course, the open interest there, how much has been taken out uh, in terms of uh, leverage there, 270,000, I think that number's reflecting. Should reflect back on this number. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, this one over here. So these two, uh, long and shorts, should be reflecting that, I guess. Uh, and it's open interest there, up 240k. So at 30k, apparently, uh, that is up above 240. So that's pretty good too. Uh, we've got volume and fees. So volume starting to rise there. We're watching this stuff here too. And the fees, obviously, if you're staked with your, your fame, you want to see these, what be watching this fees one very carefully on the chart there. Uh, uh, we've got um and 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 FIP, FIP supply. I'm not sure what those are in particular. I'd have to work that out. But uh, pool composition. We've got the cool pool composition there. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh yeah, okay. That's uh, that makes sense. So we've got uh, PHLP supply, 820,000 tokens. Yeah, um supply there, 844. I'm not sure what the um one is. Have to think about that. But uh, definitely the PHLP. Uh, we've got the performance of the PHLP. Uh, PHL price price there. Traders net profit. So, uh, so far, p traders are doing pretty badly, <laughs> pretty badly at the moment. Uh, traders net profit is uh, not good. Uh, it's negative there. So uh, we'll, be watching, we'll be watching that. We'll see whether they start making money, right? Um, so, yeah, that's good for you, I guess, if you're providing liquidity on the platform. Uh, <laughs> traders are, 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 are not make record, but that could be changed very quickly. It's just started, right? Just only eight hours in or something. Uh, we've got traded profit versus loss. We've got some of these charts up here as well. Um, so uh, what's that cumulative loss three and a half thousand cumulative profit three hundred and ninety three dollars so uh, we'll be watching this numbers as well uh, open interest there that's cool we want to obviously see it grow that's the main thing you want to see grow uh, on there as well a borrowing rate annualized so we've got lots of cool charts here as well um, let me jump through this up unique users users uh, new users versus existing users so this just all started uh, so you can come back and look at this this video, and of course you can see what the starting numbers were. Obviously, you don't need that on charts because you can just go look at the chart. But uh, pretty cool on the headline numbers. So that is on the stats page. So we've looked at the dashboard, we've looked at the earn page, we've looked at the stats page there, which we've uh, looked at twice, um, and we're going to look at the portfolio page. So a quick look at that. Um, oh, not on the PHUX there, that's not the one I want to do. It's my bad, I've gone on the wrong page. Uh, there we are. We want to look at the ecosystem tab, sorry. And uh, the ecosystem tab is here, so we're going to come back to this. But it's basically got all their other protocols and socials as well. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, but of course, the main event is trading. If you're coming in and you want a margin trade, uh, you want to go long or short on particular assets, they offer a number of assets here. So far, we've got Pulse USDC, uh, Pulse X USD. Uh, Hex USD, uh, Wrapped ETH uh, USD, and Wrapped Bitcoin. So there we are. And uh, we've got Pulse there at the moment. Uh, and what this is the Pulse price. So price. So if we want to go long on Pulse versus the USD, uh, we've got the price down at the moment at uh, 40442. Uh, and of course, we could uh, go for a long here. So a minimum we have to do is $10. Um, so at the moment, it's being shorted at the moment. Um, so it, at the moment, we've got the, the chart going down here on the four hourly. So if you thought it was going to continue to go down, uh, you could short this. So we might short it even, for example, don't generally suggest shorting Pulse, but uh, here we are. We've got a little downtrend there. 
So we could short pulse there, but we'll have to use die to do that. Don't have any die, so we'll just have to go long. Let's go long, and hopefully this is the bottom, right? We'll go long now. Uh, so 5.19. That's uh, got a little bit in here. 5. Uh, two, three. Uh, so it's 20. So let's do 250. Let's do 250. One, two, three. That's uh, pulse. We're going to go long, so we want the price to go up here. Uh, so we're 250. So we're going against the trend here. Uh, and 250, uh, so that's $11. That should be enough for us to get a leverage. Now, what leverage are we going to go for? Uh, this is the key. So we put in the amount of pulse, which is $11. So you have to do a minimum $10. Uh, and uh, that's going to be 270 uh, at one at one to one leverage. That's uh, what, 200, 250. Uh, so we've got slightly higher there at 1.1 is the minimum. So let's go, let's go to uh, at the higher the leverage we go. Uh, the quicker the liquidation price, right? So this liquidation price down here, that's what's. Uh, if, so if the price goes uh, down further, we're gonna get, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna lose our money. Basically, we're gonna get stopped out there. Um, so if we do a, let's do a three, let's do a, a three X on this one. Say, um, so let's do a three X. So that means that we're open, even though we've only got two hundred fifty thousand pulse, uh, that's gonna be uh, going long. What's gonna get? We're gonna be borrowing the money. And so instead of eleven dollars, we'll have thirty-two dollars. That would be uh, seven hundred forty, uh, seven hundred forty-one thousand position that we're actually getting because we're borrowing, borrowing the money to the difference, right? So that would be pretty cool. Now, obviously, if we went to like five x, uh, then we're now up. At, we've got a position that we're we're saying that the price is going to go up, and we've got we actually got a position that's one point two million uh, pulse, even though we only put two hundred fifty thousand in there, which is quite cool. Uh, so that's fifty fifty four dollars. So we might go with a 5x actually. Let's just do a 5x and we're going to enable the leverage there. So a collateral in uh, USD, uh, leverage is 5x. The entry price is at 4416. Liquidation price is going to be only 3941. Um, so that would be bad for us if that happens uh, and we'll get liquidated, right? So liquidation price calculated is the price at which the collateral uh, is less than 2% of your position size or uh, cannot cover liquidation costs. Uh, there's going to be some fees for this. Uh, 21 cents, so 0.1% uh, of the position size. Um, so that's 21 cents in this case. The position size this up here. Sorry, this one here. Uh, let us enable. Let's enable there. And we're gonna we're gonna put this in just for fun. We're just doing this for fun since it launched, and uh, so we might as well do one. <laughs> there we are. All right, let's confirm. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Now, apparently, uh, they don't have any oracles for this, which is interesting. Um, they didn't wait for the Fetch Oracle, for example. They're apparently using PulseX for this. We're going to get to some of the comments in a minute. Just one moment as I wait for this to process. Uh, so that's enabled. Now, that, so we've enabled the leverage. Now we have to go long. So let's click the long button. That's going to give us our summary uh, before our position opens up. $250,000, $11. The minimum is $10 to play, <laughs> as it were. Uh, and we're playing and bidding against the house, right? So fame is the house, and we're bidding against that. Um, well, at least we're bidding for it to go long. So uh, fifty-four dollars is our position. We've got a five x leverage there, so we've basically boosted our position on the market. And of course, uh, we're going to leverage and leverage and pulse. Uh, liquidation price is quadruple zero three nine four. Uh, fees twenty one cents. Collateral ten dollars eighty two. Um, what else was interesting there? Uh, borrowing fee. Uh, execution fee. So we've got a couple of fees there. You've got to take that into account when you open these positions. Uh, and of course, slippage. They've got a bit of slippage in the price because obviously uh, this is on chain too. So uh, you know, who knows uh, what what price we'll get when we go to do it. You can change this in the settings, however. Um, so yeah, we're going to leave it at that and click along. Uh, it's going to cost us. Uh, luckily, the gas price is low today because <laughs> uh, it's going to it's going to cost us the gas. Uh, to do the transaction, also it's going to take out the pulse that we put in position, right? Two hundred fifty thousand plus the fees on top of that. So that's what you expected to get there. Uh, take out of your wallet. It's going to take that out. Uh, you can see about five hundred nineteen thousand in this this demo wallet here, or this play wallet, um, and we're about to see what it's going to do. All right. Uh, so it's going to set up a, a look. At that, it's setting up position down the bottom here. See that? So position is long. Uh, it's opening that up as well, and uh, so it's just going to put that in play at the moment. Now, uh, some of the things you can do with this is you can also do limit orders. Uh, you can also do triggers. Triggers basically a st a stop profits, uh, stop losses, and take profits. Sorry, um, and that's a way of risk management, right? So maybe you don't want you go to sleep overnight, 
uh, and you're, you you want to get a certain amount of profit or you're worried about it, maybe it sells down against you, you can sort of put a stop loss uh, or take profit to uh, limit the price level. So the price just goes up a certain level, you take profit and you're out. Um, so that's the kind of thing you can do with that. Uh, or if uh, you're a little bit nervous, you can put a stop loss there. And uh, sometimes I think you can do both at the same time. We'll see. So that position is opening at the moment. We'll take a little bit longer than you'd see on centralized exchanges because it's on chain. So it's got to go to the market and process that, do a few checks and things uh, is my guess. And then uh, it will set that up. So it'll just take a little bit longer than normal. Uh, but it's pretty fun. Is it up? I think it's up. There it is, folks. It's in. And so what we're going to see now is that we'll see with as the price of, of Pulse moves, we'll see this go up or down, right? So the profit will go up or down. And remember, our, our, our liquidation price is quadruple zero three nine five, uh, which is important to know. Now, we can come up to the trigger um, as well. Uh, take profit and stop loss orders can be set after opening a position. So you have to open the position first, which we've just done. Uh, and then, of course, there will be a close button on each position row. Uh, clicking this will display the option to set a trigger. So you can uh, do that too. So uh, important to know. All right. Uh, so we've got an edit button here. We can do it there. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's on the edit button. Let me have a look. Uh, uh, we can do the withdrawal there. Uh, edit the long. What else have we got there? Let me just uh, close button. Is that the one? Uh, trigger there. there. So we have to hit the close button uh, here to get access to the profit. Uh, take profit stop loss. Uh, and that is where it is there. Close. Uh, if we were going to close the price, stuff like that. Or we use the price to close out here uh, to do that. Um, but we're not going to do that, so uh, we'll do that another time. All right, uh, so uh, we're, we're no change in our profit position yet at the moment. Obviously, we're down slightly because we paid fees, um, so uh, we've got to wait for that to you know for the profit to go up. So, we really want this chart here to turn up green uh, as well. Um, so the more, probably the more logical play may have been, been to short and go down slightly there, but of course, we don't want a short pulse so really if we have an output, we, we, we want price to go up. All right, let's see what else uh, comments in there. So that is ticking away there. We're going to come back to that. Um, but, of course, the other thing I want to talk about is liquidity. Liquidity, uh, because uh, PHAX uh, is the fork of balancer, and it also has some fame pulls. So uh, it's pretty exciting to see that. And we've got – I've actually filtered uh, for the fame pulls. Uh, we've got one called Pareto here. It's got fame pulse. Uh, and, of course, it's got 1.6 million in value there, which is pretty cool. The 24-hour volume, 371K. Uh, the APR on that at the moment is 15%, which is pretty nice. Uh, PH Holy Trinity there uh, is Fame, Fiat, and Prime PX there. So the combination. Cool thing about balances, you can have kind of like an index where you have multiple tokens and you can sort of allocate uh, along that uh, those tokens. So you sort of, they all do well, you do well. If one does well and one doesn't do well and one's kind of neutral, and then you kind of have an average, uh, maybe you get have uh, no change in performance or an average performance. Um, and then you've got other ones here as well. So it's got 119,000 in that so far. 47, 41, 47% APR, which is not bad. Then they've got this one here. Um, uh, I'll call it 4G. Uh, and, of course, the 4G as in for technology. Uh, we've got uh, PLXRP here. So we've got the liquidity token in here as well, as well as Fame, uh, PHUX, and Fiat, the main uh, main tokens for those protocols. So that's kind of cool. And uh, so you benefit from 6% of the trading in here. Remember, 40% from that. Um, but here is the pool value, 95K for that moment, 28%. So some nice little pools here. Um and uh, yeah, Buck versus Richard here. They've got one other pool here. It's only 18k in there, uh, 38. percent So they've got a couple of pools on PX already. Now the cool thing about that is that uh, the TVL is at 29,480. So you can imagine uh, where Pulse starts to rise, then generally all these these asset values going to rise, and uh, we could see you know Pulse goes up you know like two x or something. And we could see this pool go up to maybe you know 80k, 80 million, sorry, uh, very quickly. So it's going to be fun to see that play. So far, 187 million uh, traded to on PX, which is pretty awesome. So some good stuff happening uh, here between the protocols. Um, so yeah, I look, I'm down slightly here, down uh, 0.01 cent at the moment, uh, 0.009. So we'll see. Obviously, if this keeps going down, then that's not great for me. And I'm not sure if they had a, uh, normally if you have that on, oh, uh, select there. Normally you might, if you put a stop loss in that in here, you probably have a, uh, a line come up here, so it might actually. I was going to do that, but if we put a trigger in here and uh, put the price in, maybe if we put the price in at uh, 0 0.000, 000 
zero. Uh, what do we say? Uh, four four one or something. Uh, that would be you know. I guess that's a, a trigger price for that. Actually, I might just leave that at the moment. We might do that another time. Anyway, we've got the price that we're just going to let it free carry, free fall. Uh, we got uh, yeah down half percent at the moment, five cents. So we've gone from one cent down uh, to five cents down because the price is still uh, moving out here uh, down here at the moment. All right, uh, let's see who's in the chat there. Uh, let's see who's going to comment on this one. Uh, I know some of you have uh, got some uh, fame tokens. Let's see who's in here. We got uh, we got Sandy Beach in here. Hi, Hex token, everybody. Are we live? Yeah. So yeah, talking about that. We got a trope of Dev in the house there. I got liquidated already. Uh, you got to be careful on the platform. If you're playing with ten dollars, probably not so bad. But if you're playing with big money, uh, then you got to be very good at what you do. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Um, what else there? Uh, I staked Fame Token this morning. Says Sandwich, nice one. Uh, well done to you. Uh, Sandwich says I had a little issue with token approval, but their Telegram is very helpful. All good. Says Sandwich, okay, nice to know. Uh, we got Nita in house as well. Good to see you, Nita. Good, e good morning, everybody. Um, what else there? Uh, CI says I am a boring jellyfish and don't trade with leverage. Still alive, family. That's right. Yeah, if it's not for you, don't do it. That's all I'd say. Generally, we don't uh, recommend it, but uh, once again, there's people that do it. Uh, it's just the way it is. Um, a Kung Fu Tex in the house here. Hey, Superman, good to see you, Kung, Kung Tech Fu. Uh, welcome to the chat there. Uh, Kung Fu says, is this GMX on Pulse Chain? Well, it's the uh, famous uh, fork of GMX on Pulse Chain, yeah, but there's quite a few extra things you, you have to do uh, to set it up on Pulse Chain. You can't just do a straight fork, you know. Um, so... You know, people. We saw we saw a uh, a fake a fake one kind of uh, tried to do it, uh, and of course they got wrecked. They got wrecked like two million dollars or something. Got rug talk. Um, we got actually decimated in the house. The evening all good to see you. Uh, Rich May says when Mitra sir. Yeah, that's taking a little bit longer, isn't it, Mitra? Uh, there. So uh, you're still waiting for that. Uh, we've got seven big NFT uh, uh, markets. Uh, four of them have launched. Uh, Mitra is probably the biggest of them all in terms of. Uh, the the sacrifice and also uh, the UI is pretty cool. I think the, the whole setup is pretty cool. So uh, yeah, waiting for that. Haven't seen anything more about that yet, but it's got to be close, Rich. Uh, Rich May. Uh, what else there? Uh, I've answered that question already. No, it says if Pulsex does 100x on, or Pulse Chain will X uh, by peer bond do the same. Uh, pretty much, uh, yeah. Uh, Pulse. Well, Pulse is really the the one to lift them all, but Pulse X, I think there's going to be a bit of a snapback on that in terms because the ratio is down so far from sacrifice price. Uh, but the bonding keeps them all pretty similar, but there will be relatively differences between them now. And I think Pulse X probably going to have the most dramatic. We've seen some interesting plays lately with, with uh, X not being up so much. So there we are, folks. I'm down 17 cents at the moment on that. Uh, and it's uh, down 1.63%. That's why I was going to short it. That's why I was going to short it. Uh, but hey, We'll leave it. We'll leave it at that. So that's kind of cool. We'll just see how we go. Let's come back to that because that's what you call. You just leave it. Leave it there. Uh, we might come back to that a bit later. Um, all right. Uh, so that's kind of good news around PX. Now, the one thing I want to talk about was the uh, this the what, where am I going here? We want to go to the ecosystem. Uh, and of course, I've talked about you can do it with 30x uh, leverage there. Um, so I think that's pretty clear. Uh, the 30x leverage is taking the scroll bar all the way to the right hand side there. That's a 30x leverage. That's a pretty big deal. Uh, there as well. So if you if we did a similar thing, we put two hundred fifty thousand um, pulse in there. It's just eleven dollars. Uh, that would give us an open position there of a huge position of six point seven million pulse, uh, which is two hundred ninety four dollars on based on eleven dollars. Uh, that's a pretty big position. The liquidation price, however, is pretty low. Uh, is, is pretty high. Sorry. So uh, if we got in at four thousand four hundred uh, on pulse at the price at the moment. Uh, the liquidation price is only four four thousand two hundred twenty eight, <laughs> so uh, that's pretty risky, right? Um, but the the returns could be really cool. So uh, depending on whether you if you're going long, you want the price to go up, then that's pretty risky. Um, obviously, you can go short as well. You know that the price is going to continue to go down. That's what you suspect, and then you can short that uh, with the die here. Um, so yeah, it's uh, I've got no die in the wallet, so uh, that's pretty much it. So I go maxed. But let's say we had some. Uh, let's say we had a thousand dollars a dime. Uh, well, let's actually do a similar amount. Let's do eleven dollars, uh, and that would give us uh, that amount of pulse that we could short on the market at thirty x. Um, and so this has the opposite way, right? Because we want the price to go down, 
Uh, so entry price would be at 4397. Uh, liquidation price would be if the price went higher, right? Price went higher, then we get liquidated because we want the price to go down when we're shorting. Um, and so that would be the case there. Um, yeah, pretty much that. So that is cool. Uh, all right, we'll come back to that at the moment. So that is kind of cool. Fame at the moment on the price chart is uh, at 58 cents. Uh, had a nice little rally before the launch uh, in here. I posted that in the Discord that it was rallying. We got up to just before, got up just shy of 70 cents here. And then it got sold down on the launch news. Had a bit of volatility there. And then shot, got sold back down to 58 cents. So at the moment, it's 58 cents uh, on fame on, um, on the market. So not too bad. Uh, market cap at the moment, uh, pretty much 20 million. Excuse me, liquidity at 25K in there. So liquidity is still relatively small. We could probably see a lot. This is on PulseX, right, versus uh, PX, which we already looked. PX has got lots of liquidity. So if you're going to swap, do some swapping, uh, you'd, uh, you want to buy Fame, I'd, I'd probably buy it on uh, PHUX. Uh, alternatively, you could buy it on uh, Patias, uh, and then you can, uh, Patias will route it either through PulseX or, 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 or PHUX, or both, uh, right? So it could just split up percentages of your purchases of, or your, your buying or selling of Fame uh, uh, on Patias deck, because it's a dex aggregator, right? So you've got those options, and it's the most efficient, right? Dex aggregator is generally most efficient, uh, but can struggle in a fast-moving market, but this is not, this is not really a fast-moving market, so it'll be something you could think about there uh, for that. All right, and I do know that uh, Batias is making, you know, it was kind of got this natural alliance with uh, PHUX at the moment, which is good to see. We're seeing a lot more synergy between protocols, uh, which is really fun. That's great for us. Uh, all right, so that is pretty much that. We're going to come back to all that, though. Uh, 58 cents of fame at the moment. That is it. We're going to come back to our uh, open margin trade at the moment, and we'll come back to that a bit later. Let's get into the markets. Uh, Hex Grader and House says, uh, bring on the beast. Can't wait for Power City. Yeah, Power City. We've got Liquid Loans and Power City to come, uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but PH Universe, one of our big ecosystems, has got all their products out. Now we're going to see them work on Synergy and presumably... Uh, a lot more promotion uh, is what we would probably see those two there. Uh, so hats off to uh, Buck and the Famous team and uh, look forward to uh, the future there. And very important protocols uh, in that PH universe suite. Uh, and, of course, B B Bitcoin there is at 26,610, so not too bad. Uh, and, of course, we're coming into Sunday for the United States, so we may get a bit of weakness in, in the market tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, and Ethereum there at 1594. Now, the one thing about Ethereum, uh, we've got, so we're expecting the, the, the halving in uh, about the 17th of April next year uh, for the BDC halvening. Uh, we're still getting a lot more silliness around the SEC, um, but we're still reasonably expecting, or maybe unreasonably expecting, uh, the uh, ETF in, uh, in Q1 maybe uh, next year. Uh, but we are seeing some nonsense around futures uh, from the SEC. So that's, uh, we've got some, Generally bullish news potentially for next year for uh, BDC. And maybe maybe the run-up will happen earlier. Uh, we'll see if that happens for October or something. But Ethereum, of course, had the more bullish bullish uh, events potentially, uh, ETF October possibly. Uh, and, of course, uh, the uh, unfortunately, the, the, the other piece of news, which was uh, the uh, upgrade uh, for protodank sharding, that's expected. Uh, that may not make it this year, right? So they're looking at testing. Uh, now this just came out from the last meeting they had. Uh, so we may get testing uh, for the ProDank sharding upgrade um, uh, maybe by the end of the year if we're lucky. So it looks, does look like that's going to be pushed into the new year. Uh, but in any case, it doesn't uh, matter too much in some ways because that's really going to benefit the second layer protocols uh, with ProDank sharding. And that's really, at, you know, Atribum and um, Optimism, things like that. So uh at the moment, that's kind of the play there. Hopefully, we'll get a bit of good news. Maybe the ETF in October. Uh, that would be kind of bullish. So we'll look forward to that. That is pretty much it. Otherwise, the market's sort of just holding there at the moment and holding pattern. Uh, the cool news about BDC, though, it has not broken between, down between... It's not broken down uh, from 24,800. That's really the key market there. Uh, we don't want that to break down. Otherwise, we down we go. Down we go. I don't think there's going to be much to stop us going down. Um, so uh, that's the thing we've got to be careful about. All right, uh, that is that. And here is Pulse at the moment. Uh, Pulse at the quadruple zero four four. We're at forty four percent of the uh, the sacrifice price, which we just went long on on Fame, and uh, we got one one point eight five percent down on that. 
Uh, Pulse text at the moment is at uh, four, uh, four zeros one one two. Uh, we're at eleven uh, percent of the sacrifice price. Uh, that is down four point five six percent. So that's really gone down the most. But remember when it was going up, it was actually going up more than Pulse. So it was an interesting change. We've seen a shift in that pattern because uh, typically Pulse was leading in percentage gains, and then Pulse X was. But of course, Pulse X is down so dramatically. Uh, so the burning note keeps going, regardless of the as long as people keep trading, uh, the the uh, burning keeps going. And we're at 447 and a half billion uh, pulse X is now burned, and that is 2.16 percent of the public supply, uh, which is awesome. So, uh, really cool. And same token is down 3.47 percent, uh, dollar 15, and the ratio 26,171. So, ratio come back a little bit there, but had a couple of good days in the office, and 26,000 seems to be a uh, holding pattern there at the moment. Uh, we've got uh, just hit 12 million incentive tokens in existence, uh, and we've had 90,000, almost 90,000 burnt through the TRH protocol um, there from Jacob and his team. Uh, PHX there at the moment at eight tenths of a penny, just drifting off for the last couple of days. And uh, we've got EHX there at zero uh, zero three four. That's been pretty stable. Uh, and of course, the combined price of EHX and PX is at one point one four cents uh, at the moment. One PHX will get 183 pulse. And uh, we'll get you uh, 2.4 EHEX at the moment. That's kind of where we are. So we've kind of been holding that sort of, well, just slightly down uh, each day, but mostly holding around 1.1 or more. Uh, let's have a quick look at the charts. That is the chart for Pulse, uh, right in the top of the Bollinger Band. Still looking very good, as you guys know. Want to get to this line up here, this yellow line, 5,000. Uh, and the chart's looking good for that. The chart is looking good for that. But, of course, we do have Sunday. Maybe we'll get a down day for Sunday. Who knows? Uh, and uh, then we'll get a rally in the new week, uh, hopefully, uh, as long as the markets are holding generally. That is kind of the play there at the moment. Uh, the RSI has got plenty of room. Look at the RSI there, uh, 52. So plenty of room to move um, as well. Uh, Pulsex, uh, volumes are on the lower side, but you know, we've we got, we got potential. Uh, Pulsex there as well, uh, down a bit more aggressively, as you can see in the red candle there, but still got that nice upward movement as well. And incentive token ratio there, dollar fifteen. But let's switch it to the pulse, uh, and uh, we can see that we had quite a few days. So we had quite a, you know, we've been shedding all the time, like the shedding, shedding of the ratio. Uh, so pulse to incentive token. Uh, the last time we had a, like a flurry of green days was back here in uh, July, and now we've had you know, a couple of good days in the office here after continual shedding of the ratio. And we're now at 26,170. So that is the ratio there. And since we're looking at Pulse X and Incentive Token, we might as well look at Pulse X and have a look at the farms, which is generating the Incentive Tokens. We can see that Pulse X to Pulse is at 11%. Uh, die, die bridged in from Ethereum with Pulse 66%. USDC bridged in with Pulse 62%. Uh, Wrapped ETH uh, and Pulse at 52% as well. Uh, USD Tether and Pulse there at 63%. Now, these returns have been hold, held up for a long time. This is really good returns, and they just keep ticking away. So that's actually been really positive uh, in the old Pulse X. Those returns are very nice there on the APRs. X to Pulse is at 15%. Incentive token and for Pulse and Pulse X is at 60% and 58% respectively. Uh, so they're still looking very good, uh, these, these returns. So very excited about that. And, of course, if you don't want to do the V1 farms, you can always go to the Info tab and check out the pools. And uh, you can provide liquidity in some of the better better trading pools, right? And some of the APRs in there are pretty exciting if they pop up, when they pop up. So uh, that is, uh, is it going to pop up? It's not going to pop up for me. All right. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> we believe in you. And yeah, we'll come back to that. We'll, maybe we'll come back to that. Let's go to the hex. Uh, that is P-Hex at the moment. Uh, and, of course, a little bit weaker than uh, the pulse chart there, but uh, it's still ticking along here, maybe just consolidating. Uh, we're at uh, eight-tenths of a penny there. Um, so that's kind of the play there on PHEX, uh, EHEX as well, uh, definitely the weaker of the two. Uh, and, of course, we're down at uh, 3,200th of a penny or 3,300th of a penny today at the moment. And remember, the difference between these two is this one here is uh, pulled in, bonded with Pulse. Uh, this one here is, you know, uh, this is the Pulse version on Pulse Chain, so it's with Pulse as well. Uh, but really, uh, we've got a lot of impact playing from uh, the Ethereum side with uh, USDC and uh, Ethereum, of course. So that is the the, the e EHEX there. Uh, PX, uh, the combined price of EHEX and PX here on investex.io uh, is 1.14 cents. You can see we just sort of shaded off the last two hours. We were up a little bit higher. And uh, yeah, the higher highest we got there was up to about 1.3 uh, recently. So that's kind of the high there on the old combined chart. So let us uh, jump away from that. We're going to get rid of all these charts. 
and uh, that, that, that pool's still not coming up for Pulsex, but the pools are there, I tell you, I promise you, the pools are there. Uh, then it's not coming up for me because I've probably got too much stuff open. Uh, that is uh, the hex there, and uh, let's jump over to some of the other stuff that we're going to look at. Valleys, uh, Valleys making new records. Uh, we're at forty three thousand two hundred one, so we'll just keep uh, moving up there. Uh, and of course, we've got Valleys all around the world. As I always say, Pulse Chain is the people's chain, uh, and of course, uh, it's going to uh, be amazing as we keep building out these protocols. One point three eight uh, trillion uh, Pulse is on is locked away. With the validators off the market, which is about 9.2, 9.3% of the supply. And that doesn't include the EIP 159 burn, uh, the exit burn, what was that, 132 billion from uh, the 4,096 uh, 4, validators that uh, that initially kicked off the chain and now they have withdrawn and burnt their pulse. And of course, it won't include the collateralization of pulse and other, other third party protocols like liquid loans uh, that's going to take potentially. A uh, whole ton of pulse off the market as well, uh, leading us into more tighter market conditions uh, for pulse, which is uh, be something to look forward to. The other positive sign, of course, is that gas prices have eased off a little bit, but they're still relatively high compared to two weeks ago, where we were probably down around four five hundred thousand beats. We're now at one point three million beats, uh, and we've definitely been seeing a lot more. Uh, not today, but uh, the last couple of weeks, we've seen huge gas spikes. Uh, up to 3 million, 4 million, 12 million. Uh, Guay, it's been quite high, uh, but it's definitely tapered off uh, as we're in the weekend now. Uh, we're in around about 1.3. You can see that it's actually looking a lot more stable uh, on the um, on the uh, gas, gas here at around 1.3. But don't look, we're going to be seeing four to 500,000 beats uh, anytime soon. All right, uh, we're 200 times cheaper than Ethereum, and we're 790 times cheaper than Bitcoin. That's slow, slow Bitcoin. We're cheaper than that. So that is pretty much it on the chart. That's the end of day 134. Uh, we've still got probably about an hour to go, but you know, because I'm an hour early. But uh, that's uh, day 134 pretty much uh, on those numbers. And uh, yeah, let's have a look here. Actually, we'll go, we're going to go pulse and see whether on oh, no, it doesn't show up on this table. I think it's been moved. I think it's been moved. Or oh, it's on another page. I can't remember. All right. So let's jump away from that. Uh, we're going to about to start. So probably about an hour or so, we're going to start day 135 pretty much. That's kind of coming up. Uh, there as well. We're going to get into all the projects, Pulse Chain projects. Let's jump back though to Fame and see how how my uh, how 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 my uh, trades going down two point three five percent. So I told you I need to do a short. I had to short it. Uh, that'd be up two point three five percent, right? <laughs> so uh, this is the way it goes. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Um, so one thing you might do is you could uh, you know there's one thing you could do between protocols. You could go to Ave uh, on Pulse and then uh, put your Pulse and then borrow some Dai come back and uh, and put the die in and short the market. That's what you could do. So that's some of the things. Um, depending on, and you've got to be right about your your binary decision there. Let me just jump down to some of these comments here. Uh, let's, uh, where are we going here? I've got uh, all my sit stops here. Let's go back in here. We're going to come back to that in a minute. Uh, let us go in here. Did we start early today, Lol? Yeah, daylight savings uh, tripped me out, so we'll start early today. I'll probably uh, reset my, uh, probably do a, uh, get the time right. I like to do it around the end of OTC day because uh, we can do the hex payments, which today I'll ha I won't be able to talk about that. I'll have to talk about tomorrow. Uh, let's go, says Christian, 100%. Uh, Crypto Tycoon says, I'm late, but I'm here. Well, you've got to be early because I'm early. I'm early too, CT. So, uh, But you're late to the show, I get it. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's get back to it. All right, let's go. All right, so we got the uh, we're going to have a look at the the uh, uh, PRC twenties. That's all we got. Those we looked at Rich Hart tokens, of course. Uh, let's have a look through here. Not a lot of action at the moment, right? We're pretty in a pretty in an, a, a quiet spot over the weekend here. Uh, not a lot happening, but Link is up uh, seven percent uh, across most of its pools. Uh, LUSD, the copy of Liquidity, is pretty much up a little bit there, half a percent. Uh, that's pretty much. This is on my list, right? So everything else is pretty much down. Uh, and you can see that PDI is down a lot. So let's do that. Let's have a look by liquidity. So that's by percentage, but by liquidity, uh, the big liquidity pools, PDI is down dramatically. It's busted through uh, all those levels and down uh, down to, uh, uh, heading down to the 78.6 on the Fibonacci again. Uh, so that's breaking down continually. Uh, obviously, we've got a, a little bit of time to go, but that is pretty much where we're at the moment, 00190. So, uh, Still holding up in the battle zone, um, but really this line has to be defended. Uh, this 
the 78.6. It's already touched it once. Uh, that's down at 9,356. That's to defend that line. If it's going to have another attempt, uh, strong, you know, more probable attempt to the upside as opposed to complete capitulation. Um, so that's kind of where we are at the moment uh, on that one. So we'll be watching that. So that is a P dime. That's definitely quieted a few voices since it's come down that far. But it's still in the game, uh, only just, but it's still in the game uh, for potential rally again. Uh, Teddy Bear is down 1.4%. Uh, Treasury Bull down 5.4% there. Rap Bitcoin, which is the other one we've been following, had a pretty good rally lately. Uh, it's got 200K in liquidity. Uh, that is definitely down $104. Man, the range has been quite interesting, uh, but there's still quite a you know, reasonable reasonable line there, but it's definitely down uh, 50% from the top. Uh, but you know, if we put a little line, I know we put the line through here or something. Still got that angle support. Um, you know, that support there. So uh, we'll see how we get on there. What's the RSI? I don't know. If, I don't have the RSI on here, but that is pretty much uh, where Rap Bitcoin is at the moment. $104. Uh, that was down $42 for quite a while. So uh, that's about 104 now. It's not too bad. Now, the two big sh meme coins, because we're waiting for the 9-inch decks to launch. Uh, and, of course, uh, that is coming up. That's the meme decks. $16 million sacrifice for that. So it's got a lot of interest in that. Uh, and of course, we've got Pippi and Shiv there. So Pippi is down 10% there and Shiv is down 7%. And these are probably the two uh, big, big ones that will do well on that platform. And so this could be in huge demand. Obviously, we're waiting for that to launch now. Uh, they may be waiting for the Fetch Oracle. That could be something they're waiting to do uh, for the DEX, which I think would be a wise decision. Um, and of course, they did they have a lot of, they had some order issues they had to tidy up. Um, and I think they've probably done that side of things now, um, but maybe they're waiting for the Fetch Oracle, which I think is a wise decision, um, but we'll see. Uh, we've got uh, eight zeros and uh, eight, uh, 9,000 pretty much. That's where we are at the moment on the old Pippi. So Pippi is definitely not bad. Uh, SHIB uh, at the moment, so look at that, is down 7.6%. As the SHIB uh, pro uh, profile. Definitely that could shade down a bit more without any news about the nine inch. So that's definitely possible, but definitely some sort of entry, you know, if you get an entry around 1000, so six zeros, 1000, it's probably not a bad play. If you can get that, uh, even up to maybe 1200 here. So somewhere in that zone, not too bad. We're at 1400 at the moment on the old price there, but definitely looks like it's shedding at the moment. Um, shedding means basically this going down a little bit at a time. So uh, that is pretty much it on that. Uh, I think that's all we're going to talk about there. Let's go to, uh, the medium sized mean points, uh, and of course, nothing the narrative's not changed here, right? Um, so the big movers at the moment is Paul Pleb, uh, that is up 10 percent. So that's one of Paul Pleb, Pulse Dodge, and Where the ETH Go. Those are the three uh, uh, mean coins from the actual nine inch decks team. Um, so they're likely to get a single side staking pool. Well, I said likely they've been taught, we've been indicated that they will be, uh, from uh, Hex Bastard, and of course, get us a BBC token support. So that makes them particularly bullish. And so these could all have super rallies on these tokens. Not financial advice, um, but we're playing probability with that information. And here we are at the moment, five zeros, 4,000 on Paul Pleb. So no, not real change there. Uh, where the ETH go there is up 1%. And uh, Pulse Dodge, the other one. Uh, let's do it by liquidity. Uh, we have got it by liquidity, have we? <laughs> yeah, I think we had it already. Uh, Pulse Dodge there is uh, down 14%. So this is the one that may be a nice little pickup. Uh, if it, particularly if it falls back further, it falls back day down to... 2800 that would be a nice little pickup there uh, in this zone uh, because nine inch can't be too far away uh, we'll see but if they're waiting for the the fetch oracle that would put it several weeks away so we'll see how we get on there uh unsure about that last you know last position all right so that is pretty much it let's go to the projects and uh we're going to post projects before we do that though let's check back in on our fame position uh yeah we're down two and a half percent at the moment so we're down 27 cents. I remember we put in, what was it, $11 or something. Um, so uh, taking out the fees and then down on the price, market price. Uh, so we'll be watching that at the moment. So, yeah, uh, not definitely, definitely on a, on a uh, leading into a Sunday, not definitely, and you got the market down here, definitely not a good idea to do a long, generally speaking. That's my position. Uh, but that you could have done a short if I had some dive. I didn't have any dive, so we just did a long, uh, just for example, which is cool. That's what we're rock and roll. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll put in our trigger later. We'll put in our trigger. Um, so that is uh, that is the play there. Let's go to the projects, Pulse Dream projects. Look by that. We've got Spark. Uh, sorry, uh, Trust Swap at the top here, 20 percent. Uh, but the liquidity is really small, so that we'll ignore that. We have got Plant here, eighteen percent. Uh, that is up one of the TRH tokens. Pulse Kitten's been doing pretty well lately, fifteen uh, percent. 
uh, and water token there from the TRH uh, game is up 10% as well. Uh, Spark Swap, we want to talk about Spark Swap. It's the first project that's up 8%. Uh, and let's talk about that. So that is Spark versus Pulse. Uh, liquidity is 1.8 million based on these numbers. Let's see what they've got in there. Actually, they've got uh, 21.5 uh, billion Pulse in there, uh, matched with uh, 1.6 million Spark in this pool. Uh, but it's had a nice little update on there. Now, let's have a look at some of the news there. Uh, Spark Swap, excited about this. This came out just before the live stream. Another killer day at Spark Swap. Um, a back over 8 million TVL liquidity looking super strong, almost, uh, still almost even even the market cap and uh, 42% of circling supply of Spark locked in the Spark class. So that's their main, that's just, this is an, you know, got a, pretty much an ROI platform, but uh, the tokenomics are supposed to be better uh, because they have the Sparkler and the Sparkler is designed to not make you sell the Spark, uh, but sell the pulse instead. Uh, so you, uh, you can decide philosophically whether that's something you like or not. <laughs> but that is where they're going. Uh, this is just the beginning. So many more bullish developments on the horizon. Now, one of the things they are, do seem to be doing is making strategic partnerships. Um, so that could be pretty good. And we're also looking for a BNB pulse bridge from this team as well. Uh, so having another bridge, that's super important. Um, so that is certainly a bullish feature uh, from SparkSwap that we are expecting. Uh, you can see here, Koshin here. Hello, guys. Win BSC or BNB Bridge to Pulse any day now. Keep your eyes peeled. And so that's going to be very important. We need more of those. Uh, and so I think it's going to be positive, super positive, uh, to have that BNB to Pulse Bridge. So fantastic. We've got the official bridge. Got a few other things with the L uh, LN uh, network and all sorts of like with Lightning Network. But we need to have a bit more of these bridges. So very exciting. Bring it on. A very important infrastructure for Pulse Chain. All right. So that is uh, from SparkSwap. Uh, so very excited about that. Uh, let's go into the next update, of course, is uh, Coast. So we'll find the old Coast there. Coast that happens to be doing not too bad either. Uh, the weight token there is uh, is at 001, so one-tenth of a penny. Uh, and that chart's still looking pretty good, right? Still slowly creeping up there on the Coast Fiat on-ramp, off-ramp. Another key piece of infrastructure there. Um, so interesting that both of the uh, you know uh, uh, bridge or on-ramp type of uh, protocols are doing well today. Uh, and one tenth of a penny. I still think these are all super cheap. Um, and so, uh, in the liquidity here is uh, particularly small, still 9.8. But they've got news out today, and we're going to talk about that. Uh, so, Coast, uh, the, if you're doing referrals for Coast, uh, they're finally paying you out. So, that's not bad because it's only been a few weeks. Uh, wait referrals for the past two weeks have been sent out to anyone that was referred by a friend or referred a friend to our platform. Uh, friends for life, <laughs> BFFs. BFFs there with Coast, which is pretty cool. Now, uh, what I was going to say is that uh, uh, Brian has got his his Coast referral. He is number two on the list behind Crypto Coffee. Yes, you heard it. And uh, well, community leader Brian, and I'm sure he'll paste his link in the chat there if you want to onboard directly to Pulse Chain from Fiat uh, to uh, the CSD stablecoin. Uh, you get 5,000 weight tokens uh, as a bonus for doing that. And of course, what happens is Coast buys them off the market. So it goes in here. And it buys them off the market. So it's obviously been buying a little bit in here. And uh, it's then allocated those out to people that have uh, been referring on the platform. So it's a win-win. So definitely post that out there. I think we've got the link to that here. So there it is. Thanks, boss. Get your free weight tokens there. And, of course, uh, who knows? Maybe uh, one day uh, with your help. Uh, and, of course, uh, Brian may get to number one there. It's all, all a bit of fun. But, uh, you know, we'll get the crypto copy. Watch out. Brian is on the on the tar on the trail. But uh, no, definitely, uh, it's a great way of Fiat on ramp directly to the Pulse Chain. There's no middle bridges or anything like that, so pretty cool. All right, so haven't got any, haven't got your free weight. Here's why: there are greater than 50 users who are eligible for weight, but we were unable to send it because you have not added your Pulse Chain address to the referrals page. You got to do that. So if you're missing it, you need to add your address to receive your weight airdrops. Please do this so we can get you paid. So that's good news uh, from the uh, from the. Uh, Coast team, which is amazing. Now, they've got about 50 countries at the moment that are eligible to use the uh, the Coast platform. Remember, they are not a middle middleman, as it were. They're not sitting in the middle. Uh, you're just, it's all done by you. Uh, they're using a, 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 what do they call it, a banking trust or a agency, something like that. So uh, that's, uh, it's between you and yourself, pretty much, um, with that entity doing the you know, banking side of it. So it's kind of cool. It's, uh, it's about as good as you can get uh, in terms of uh, DeFi uh, with the Fed on-ramp that I'm aware of. So uh, really good utility there. 
All right, uh, that is coast, so good news on that front. Uh, and the price is looking pretty handsome too. One tenth of a penny, almost one point, uh, almost uh, 11 tenths of, uh, 11 hundredth of a, of a penny. So not bad there. Uh, the chart looking better. Might have to pick some up. I don't know. That's not, not pumping the bags. Well, uh, that is looking good. All right, so some other news we've got there. So that is kind of uh, the uh, Pulse Ram projects uh, that are doing quite well. Uh, we've got some honorable mentions there. TRH up four three and a half percent uh, Beetroot, which I think is way undervalued. Uh, the market is misvaluing this in my view, but hey, who am I to fight with the market? Who am I to fight with the market? Uh, but uh, here, look at this. We're down here. I just think this is uh, kind of kind of silly there. Uh, but at the moment, we've got 102k liquidity in there at the moment, and there's up 3.4%, so not too bad there. Uh, Beetroot is Privacy Hub. It's got many other features, uh, swapping and on-chain and stuff like that. It's got a, quite a lot of features on there. Really amazing site, Beetroot there. Uh, so that is ticking away there. What else is looking pretty good? Uh, HOC, Hocus Pocus Finance there, uh, is up 2.8. They're kind of the leaders. These are all the Pulse Chain projects so far. Uh, pretty cool. And uh, you can see ticking away there uh, pretty well. Um, all right, that is Coast. And uh, now we had some updates. Of course, TYCZ uh, is still going. The lobby is still going. So if you love the TYRH uh, game fire, then TYCZ is going to be on BNB. So it is a, a little bit uh, counterintuitive. Um, but there may be some synergy between this and the Pulse Chain side. At the moment, of course, uh, they're, they're, they're still open. The, uh, the referral link is on the video description. If you do want to participate, you do get a 10% bonus on that. Um, if you do, so far, we're up to uh, 1,187,000. We've got 726 wallets, so that's ticking away there. We do expect it to launch on the 1st of November. That's the current expectation. Um, so, so, yeah, that's pretty much it at the moment. So uh, it's going to be a new and improved uh, version of TYRH. Uh, and, of course, uh, it will be burning tokens and things like that. So we'll be looking out for that. Uh, as well, and, and attract a lot, maybe attract a lot more BNB users uh, to Pulse Chain, which is kind of cool. And if we match that with uh, uh, Spark Swap uh, with their BNB bridge, then that's a win win. So I don't know if Jacob's out there watching, but uh, that's uh, that could be a win win there in terms of uh, bridging over. I'm sure Jacob will may, may get aware of that. We'll see. All right, so that's TYCZ. Uh, the other thing we had is Zen Games, as I talked about Zen Game what a week ago, uh, and of course, uh, they unfortunately they've had an issue with their contract. Uh, and they've had to use an approach to actually uh, take the, the funds out. So they had to take the 65 ETH out, um, but that is currently that 65 ETH is currently with uh, Sen Zhu, uh, who is in Jack Levin's team on the Zen team there. And uh, they're going to be uh, getting an audit within the next week. Uh, and then, of course, maybe within about two weeks, they're going to be relaunching the game uh, with another audit. So they had audits, but uh, obviously there was an issue with the code regardless of the audit. And so they've had to get another audit, uh, change the code, get another audit, and then relaunch the game. So this is going to be relaunching the game. And this is on Ethereum, of course, uh, but this will be coming to Pulse Chain. Uh, so it's a good thing that they've sorted this out and they were able to, uh, you know, pr pretty much recover the funds before somebody else uh, found the exploit and uh, and took the funds out. So uh, uh, we'll be waiting for that. So we're talking about probably a week or two uh, for this Zen game to be back on as well. So that's just a quick update on that one. Um, and you can find more details in the Discord. Uh, for Hex Token Discord under Pulse Chain Projects, which is where we've been posting lots of alpha and intel. So if you want to get in on any of that stuff, uh, definitely get join our Discord. Now, Discord link is in the video description. And, of course, uh, maybe one of the moderators will post the link as well. Maybe lies beneath somebody. Uh, post the link to the uh, Discord. Join up, folks, and join the, the team. We've got about 1,250 uh, members in there at the moment. But, uh, of course, uh, you can join up and uh, get access to all the info and, most importantly, the community, which is amazing. So uh, get on that. All right, that is pretty much it on that. Uh, let's do a quick look at the stable coins. I like to look at CST just while we we're talking about Coast. Uh, we can see that it is pegged at a dollar, and this is really cool. Look at this pegging. Uh, it was off peg, uh, but now it's pegged around dollar. Very exciting, folks, to see that. Really, really cool. Uh, and, of course, this is our first stable coin on Pulse Chain. It's backed by Fiat. Uh, we're going to have two more, of course, uh, Liquid Loans, USDL, and uh, uh, Power City Earn Protocol with PXDC. And, of course, they're all going to be pulled together in some fashion. Uh, so it's going to be, you know, from Fiat all the way through uh, to Pulse and Pulse X collateralized. Really amazing. Uh, can't wait for that. And the liquidity keeps on building. Pulse Chain gets more valuable. And the thing with these uh, other stable coins uh, is that the uh, you're generating money with, uh, within the system. We are, uh, with Liquid Loans and Power City and Liquidity Forks, we are our own Federal Reserve. <laughs> We're printing our own money, uh, which is amazing. Uh, so it's going to be fun to see that play out. Uh, really, really cool. And of course, with leverage as well, leverage and generating our own stable coins. 
uh, you know, that's that's uh, that's where you get some real economic engine going uh, with within the ecosystem as well. And then if you get sentiment on top of that, uh, wow, that's exciting. Then you start getting some price movements. Price movements, of course, start attracting more people that are not on Pulse Chain, and that's that's how you get start getting a roll on. So, uh, uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun to see all that play out. We are still early, uh, day 135. Is that what we're saying about start, day 135? It's looking pretty good. Let's go back to the trade. Uh, at the moment, the trade is down 2.68%, and that's why I was going to go I was going to go short so that my trade would be in profit. <laughs> but, hey, look, we just did what we could during the live stream, and uh, it's ticking away there. Uh, so fingers crossed that uh, it switches around there. That's going to be really cool. And, of course, I could go to close, and I could uh, close out the position. Uh, I could uh, close that position out and close, and I'll take my little loss that I've got at the moment, which would be around about probably 3%, including the fees, 2.68 plus fees. Because um, you remember, there's fees on the open, fees on the close, plus fees with the actual trade. Um, so that's the one thing you could do. Uh, trigger, of course, I could put in some uh, a trigger price so that I, you know, maybe I'm asleep. <laughs> I'm asleep here. <laughs> maybe I'm there like savings and I'm asleep. And, uh, you know, can't, I, I, I can't do it. And I don't want to let it go out to, you know, to the liquidation price because I lose everything, right? So uh, uh, if you're staking fame and uh, if you've uh, got PHLP, you, you don't mind. You love it. You love it. <laughs> Liquidations are good for you. <laughs> so uh, I, I may not be able to afford a coffee, but you will be able to buy a coffee <laughs> with my money. That's kind of the idea there. Isn't that funny? Anyway, so uh, kind of cool. That is uh, the play there, and of course you can put on a price. Uh, zero point. Uh, I don't know, what am I going long? Uh, <laughs> zero uh, zero zero uh, four. Uh, let's say four one or something. So that's that's above the liquidation price. Liquidation is at three nine five. Um, so you could do that and uh, enable orders. I guess that's uh, all you have to do to trigger that. Uh, keep leverage at four point nine nine. Trigger price at four one hundred. That would be you know middle casing. Maybe I lose half of my money or two thirds of my money or something like that by doing that. Uh, so kind of cool. Market price, just looking at all these at the moment and uh, close the borrow fee. Uh, the, 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 yeah. So that's what you could do and enable that. But I'm going to leave it up. I'm just going to leave it uh, floating at the moment without any any uh, minimum in it. Let's go to some of the comments. How are we doing for time? Uh, let me just uh, look, reset the studio. Oh, we're up to an hour and eight minutes. Can you believe it? Wow, that's amazing. Maybe Brian was right. Maybe we are almost at the end. Well, actually, we're only 15 minutes away from the end of uh, the ETC day, which is crazy, man. That is crazy stuff. All right. Uh, where else are we up to? Let's uh, let's go to some of these comments. We've got more comments. Uh, let's do that. We're watching my fame trade. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, let's, uh, where would we up to? I'm just trying to catch up here on the chats. Uh, Sandy Beach. Um uh, Christian says, well, I missed this one. Spark swap, says Christian. Uh, Christian is our uh, DJ and king now. <laughs> He's been doing pretty well. He also wins lots of reprises as well. Christian often wins a lot of prizes. Uh, that's Sandy Beach's uh, fitness and health update there. Uh, definitely give Sandy Beach a follow on Twitter if you haven't already, or X as we call it now, uh, x.com. And maybe x.com is a much easier thing to say than x, because x just sounds a bit, you know, blase. Like, you know, I just, like x, why is he saying x for? It's a letter in the alphabet, I don't know. But uh, x.com and uh, Sandy Beach there, underscore 369. And if you like health, health and fitness, definitely get on that. Like I say, I'm on to my, I think it's my walk day 60 today. So I've got to do that. That's going to be coming in. Uh, my workout posted above. Nice. Uh, and definitely, if you want to on-ramp fiat to Pulse Chain directly into the CST stablecoin, which you can see is pegged at $1, uh, don't forget it's subject to liquidity. So just remember how much liquidity you're doing there. And you can also use a PHUC, which is a giant liquidity pools, much bigger uh, than um, uh, than uh, politics. And of course, a, a, a PHUX is a fork of balances. So it's got more efficient uh, invariant functions. So basically, it makes the swap between stable coins more efficient. And it's got bigger liquidity, relatively speaking, for that uh, compared to uh, politics v, uh, Uniswap V2, uh, which has a different mathematical function, which is not as efficient. So just remember that. Yo, Mama, I'm here. I'm late. How are you all doing? Good to see you, Yo, Mama. Oh, welcome. Uh, DCA dog cost plan till Christmas, then I'm sitting on my hands, says yo mama. That's a good strategy. And uh, certainly it's playing into your hands at the moment. Nice little price things. Even if we're in a slightly weaker market condition at the moment, that's probably a good play. Uh, Bluffer Shen says, g'day lies. I'm one hour behind. Australia does daylight savings in a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. It happened to us already in New Zealand. Uh, that's why I got I got tricked out by it today. I got tricked out. 
Um, that is the Discord if you want to join. Uh, Hex Token Discord links in the video description as well. Uh, definitely join up and uh, yeah, like I say, great information. Uh, lots of intel in the Discord uh, about projects and you get it early. And of course, uh, most important thing, the community is amazing. So uh, definitely get onto that. Uh, but the information links are really cool. Like if you want to do on-chain swaps, uh, bridge chip swaps, uh, decks, oh, that's all there. We've got it all there. Um, definitely awesome. And I'll probably add uh, the margin trading in there too. We've got a, a, the uh, ultimate list of Pulse Chain project lists. Uh, so if you want to get on that too, so, so much st st good stuff. Stuck in Discord rocks. <laughs> Rocket and... Uh, um, all right, let's, let's jump down here. We've got uh, Joey Torres. Hi, all good to see you, Joey. Welcome to the chat. Um, and uh, Shirley says, uh, love and blessings to you and your suit, man. I appreciate that. And a big shout out to you as well. Um, Sandy Beach says, my inner DGN was uh, kicking in today. Says Sandy Beach, that's funny. <laughs> your inner DGN. That's very deep. That's very deep. Uh, uh, oh, well, I did buy more hex. Pulse and Pulse X, so I'm good. There's Danny Beach. Well done. Well done to you. Um, another hour to go, says Brian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, we're getting pretty close. Getting pretty close. 1248. Um, Brian knows stuff, just saying. It says uh, lies beneath. You do, that is Brian's. Brian says just saying. You, you're copying Brian. Brian's influence is huge. Uh, he is a, he is a, he's a bigger influencer than uh, most, most know. Uh, Brian knows all, says Sandy Beach. His omnipresence is he or omni, omni and omniscience? Um, surely says I bought a PCN last year. Uh, I couldn't sell it uh, for no reason. Uh, why last year? What? Uh, PCN, PCN. Uh, you mean PCN on Pulse Chain? It's only been around for four months, I think. There, surely, uh, on the Pulse Chain. Uh, are you, are you talking about the OG copy of, of PCN? You can go to the OG site. Uh, maybe something for a conversation in the Discord there. That's uh, going to join Discord. We can talk about that there. Mm. Oh, PCN from Conrad Zen. Right. Okay, Conrad Zen. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he's... Does he respond to things? I don't know. I was lucky at the live stream Conrad Zen asked. He said there's no reason why I can't sell it. Yeah, well, it's his project, so you should probably talk to him. Um, um, it's not my project, so uh, definitely hit up with... Uh, with um, Conrad, that's probably a question for him. He's the one that founded it. Uh, is he still streaming? Is he still streaming? I haven't seen a stream from lately. I used to watch a couple of his streams. I always try to keep an open mind of things. Uh, it was amazing. I don't think I told anyone says Cinevich. Nice. Let me just jump through that. We've got for God, uh, Rod Fitzpatrick. Good morning, Superman, and all the family. Good to see you, Rod Fitzpatrick. Uh, Brownie as well. A bit late than never, but here I am. Let's freaking go. Doubling down on the play. Uh, 2x is a uh, brownie oh, i did a 5x i did a 5x i've got it here on 30x but that was just to show that you can do 30x and uh, it is extremely high rich typically if you're on like qcoin centralized exchange they have like a 3.3x default i think it is um but yeah uh, i'm down 2.6 percent on this at the moment but only because i was going to do a short but then i thought that's bad it's <laughs> taking shorting pulse that's not good news so i've gone long that's good for the brand that's good for the brand uh, uh, not so much for my pocket because my pocket's down uh, 28 cents but uh, that's not bad otherwise uh, Pulse Betas and House there Hi Super morning uh, morning. good to see you P uh, welcome to the chat uh, you're early today you're one hour early because of daylight savings yeah uh, daylight, Dan daylight savings that's right Roderick Patrick and, uh, got me off offside uh, back to UTC tomorrow says Brian yeah that's, I'm going to try and go back to UTC which means for me it's later in the day so instead of me doing it normally at my time 11.30 in the morning I'm doing it at 12.30 in the afternoon so it's, for me it's an hour later which means that I have to change my, my walk schedule um, so I have to think about that uh, Lies Benissi says the beer market is anti-streaming anti super except for you yeah yeah I'm streaming every day uh, we're, uh, this, this is the uh, you know, uh, it, accumulating in the bear market is, is when you make a lot of your money in the bull market, right? Because you get all the cheap prices and you just got to hold on. You just got to hold on and hold on to that road to your horse and accumulate. That's that's the thing. But you only, you only want, you really want to accumulate the good stuff, right? The better the stuff that you're accumulating, the better off you will be uh, in, the bull, in the bull market. So uh, that's important too. It's not just uh, about accumulating, but you got to accumulate the good stuff, what you think is going to do well. Uh, Sandy says hex token. I walked really early this morning. It was great, says Sandy Beach. Nice. Um, yeah, well, you've got a nice little forest next to you, haven't you, Sandy? With the beautiful little streams. And uh, I watched that. I watched it. I've been not. I was going to say I watched a certain video, but I've been not because it's a little bit scary. 
Oh, better. Oh, good, yeah, better not talk about that. All right, let's uh crypto truth says DCA for sure. Yeah, 100 uh, percent That is true. Always keep a bit of dry powder too, because you never know. You know, like if, be, if Bitcoin does break down between 24 and 800, uh, we do get that bear scenario playing out, or the stock market, you know, does a 30% retrace and that impacts crypto too. Uh, then there is the bear scenario, but there's a lot of positive side things coming up as well. So we'll see how we get on. Uh, the SEC. We might get a Christmas rally uh, <laughs> after we get through. Well, September hasn't been that bad, has it? September hasn't been that bad. Um, let me just pull up uh, trading uh, trading view, and let's have a quick look at Bitcoin on the chart. I don't know where it's had its death cross yet, because it was getting pretty close yesterday, I remember. Pretty close. Uh, let's go to Coinbase. Uh, let's have a look at the super charts, and uh, let's see how that is ticking away. Uh, let's go, bam, and uh, how we're doing here. Uh, so we've got uh, the 50-day moving average on Bitcoin at 26,983. Uh, we've got uh, the EMA on the 200 at 26,978. So it's still five dollars above <laughs> five dollars. Five dollars. I think it's going below, but uh, there, there we are. Five dollars. We'd need a nice big green candle in here to probably stop that, uh, but I don't suspect we're going to get that on a Sunday. So, but it, will it be short lived? It may very well be short lived. We'll see. The key thing, of course. Is this line here, uh, which is very crooked. Why is it so crooked on my line? <laughs> this one here. Um, how far have I got to go there? Oh, yeah, look how crooked that is. What the heck? <laughs> All right, let's straighten that up there a little bit. Um, what's that around? Is that 20? Yeah, 24. No, it's slightly lower. Uh, there we are. We'll take that. Uh, 20, 24, 800. That's pretty much it. So uh, not bad. Oh, it might lift, lift a little bit. It's a bit hard. So I'll leave it there. That is Bitcoin at the moment. We've still got these upwards here. Well, it looks like we're going to get a, this death cross. It's probably going to be short lived. Um, if we, especially if it bounces bounces in here somewhere, maybe bounce down there and up we go. Uh, we're watching out for that. Uh, April the 17th next year is the halving. So uh, let's see how many days is that from the halving. Let's have a look. Uh, April the 17th. Uh, yeah, there we are. So that, that, that's uh, 207 days. That's uh, the halving on Bitcoin uh, around there. So that's halving there. So uh, maybe we'll get a rally. Uh, September's definitely going to be better. So look at the monthly, uh, just to show you that uh, on the old. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I've got to scroll that up there. i got no audio adjustments on here, so I have to do it manually. Uh, yeah, we've got a green month. So September, yeah, it's not been a great month, but it's uh, certainly not after... Like, look at August. August was a terrible month. August was a terrible month. But September, uh, you know, that a lot of people were talking doom and gloom, but it's not been too bad so far. Um, but it's got a bit of an indecision in there, isn't it, with the, the way the candle's looking. Um, but we've still got uh, how many days to go? What is it, uh, a week to go on this candle? Um, and then we'll see how we get in. We're going to get a nice little Christmas rally in here? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we certainly don't want to break down uh, this 24,800. We've got the 200 EMA uh, on the monthly. We've got the 200 uh, monthly here. Uh, at uh, you know, what was it uh, 25,172? So, we definitely got some support on there. Fingers crossed, eh? <laughs> Fingers crossed, right? Uh, otherwise, you know, uh, you know, we're talking about these prices down here, aren't, they, aren't we? Uh, or maybe we should put in uh, in in uh, Gareth, uh, Gareth Soloway's price, I think it's around 12 13 k. Um, in here. Right, leave. Let's leave that. And we are, oh, we're back in, we're getting, we're profit, we've lost, we've actually, the price has gone up a little bit there. Uh, we're only down 1.4%, 15 cents, not 27 cents. Yes. Yes, we're doing well on the old famous margin trading. Everyone loves to, now you could do a whole show on this, right? The old uh, trading here. Now, ah, that's what we're going to talk about because I haven't got to talk about, that's the last bit. I've talked about Famous is live on Pulse Chain. We've opened up a uh, trade just to show you how it works for $10, $11. Um, and then I've uh, margin trading up to 30x. We've talked about that with the slider. And uh, you can go up to 30, 30x slider there. Uh, you don't have to do any margin trading, of course. You can just go to Earn and uh, buy Fame. And it's 58 cents last time we looked at it and put that in the platform. If you sacrifice, you got tokens, you can put that in the platform. We know that 33%, almost 34% of everybody has already done that. It's only just launched like 10 hours ago. Uh, we've got PHLP, you can provide liquidity for your liquidity provider, be the house as it were, and get 60% of the fees so that's something else you can do too um, and of course the dashboard there gives us, tells us that so far uh, $6,900 of fees have been earned and $4,300 in the last 24 hours, that's just started uh, just warming up is my guess and uh, the ecosystem, that's the third part, right? 
What is Fight Club with the PH? What is PH Club? What is what is Fight Club? Uh, that is the question there. And uh, we've got the under the ecosystem tab. You've got Fatty, you got Fiat, you got uh, Phux, you got Fame, uh, you got major announcements. So you got an announcement channel. But here it is, folks. There is the Fight Club. And uh, what is that about? That is about trading. Now uh, we may have this 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 Fight Club may become huge for traders if you're into trading. The trade chat for all PH products. So uh, that is the Fight Club. It's on Telegram. Uh, community trading discussions could become a very busy place now that people can do uh, perpetual swaps or margin trading here on the old uh, old Pulse chain. And we're still at the beginning, right? Day 135 or day one. We're still in day one for fame. It's only, in fact, we're only the third part of day one or half day of, of fame. And so that is the link there on the protocol. So pretty cool. Uh, Telegram, uh, uh, Fiat, Fame, uh, uh, Phux there. And of course, that is Fight Club. So it's really a traders group. If you're wondering what Fight Club is, and of course, it is a great movie. You saw, uh, I got Brad Pitt there, the movie, the original movie Fight Club in the uh, uh, on the thumbnail, uh, opening a cigarette or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's uh, one of the movies that made him famous uh, was Fight Club, I would say. So did anyone, yeah, what's this? That's true. Uh, check my poll says the number one rule, you don't talk about Fight Club, but I just did, I broke the rule. I'm out, I'm out. So I'll probably get beaten to a, a pulp. Uh, but that is it. That is true. Rule number one: you don't talk about Fight Club. That is so true. Uh, <laughs> so that is funny. Well, nicely the remembrance there from Check My Pulse. Uh, quote of the day, as we say, quote of the day. Um, what else? We got a couple more comments in the chat there. Uh, let's go back to uh, the trade. <laughs> let's go back to the trade there. Uh, and of course, uh, what happened to my trade? Where'd it go? Uh, is my trade still there? My position there. Uh, there we are, because oh, oh, I've, uh, I've magnified it, that's why. Uh, there we are, magnified. Uh, actually, look what happened, it, it auto queued there. Anyway, I'm down 13 cents, I'm down 1.3%, uh, but so far, so good. Um, so if this rallies, <laughs> this rallies, that would be pretty neat. The other things you can uh, trade, of course, is Pulsex. Uh, would it be quite the rally, wouldn't it, Pulsex? Imagine going to Pulsex, and uh, you could trade that. That'd be pretty crazy. Uh, and, of course, imagine if it gets back to sacrifice prices like a 9x. Um, man, 9x on 30x, what's that? Uh, 93 is 27, 270, uh, 70x. There, they were pretty mad gains, wouldn't it? Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, what else there? Uh, check my pulse in the house. Good evening, Superman, and what's up, y'all? And of course, came in there with the quote of the day. Uh, rule number one, you don't talk about uh, fight club, <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> you don't talk about it, says uh, lies beneath. Yeah, that, I guess you were trying to say the same thing there, lies. So I missed that. Uh, and they're so cool. Um, what's up? It's Crypto Truth in the House. Good to see you. And we're up to now 23 minutes, which is way too long for a live stream, although we have got this on here. So, uh, wow, that is pretty amazing. That is the liquidation, that is the price there. Uh, should we leave it open? Should we leave it open? Um, and see, see how we go. Uh, there's no limit. I put no uh, stop loss on there or anything like that. Uh, I would generally never do that. You always want to put some risk management in play, like a take profit, stop loss. Um, and of course, you can do that by hitting the close button and then hitting the trigger and then putting in the price that you want to do, right? Or close out that if you want to do some partial close, you can close out some there as well. Like you can close out part of it. Uh, let's say we got $54, but let's say we just closed out uh, 25, you can do something like that. Um, and of course, the price there, we could set a price, uh, you know, that's just above liquidation, but, uh, you know, below that. So we could do that too, or above. So uh, kind of cool. Um, all right, that is that, and that will show should show a lineup on your on the site there, um, as well. Should we do it? Let's do it. Let's see, let's see what it looks like. Keep talking about it, so I might as well do it. Uh, 0. 0. 0.00004. Um, how what price are we at the moment? <laughs> price are we at the moment? I can't remember now. Uh, for let's go for 100, just for example, and uh, empty. Oh, is that gonna work? Oh, that's not even working on that. I'm not sure that's not working. Maybe that's something to do. With, oh, max. I have to do uh, max on that. Uh, so that would close out the maximum amount at uh, that price. Enable orders. Uh, like the orders are not guaranteed to execute. Blah, 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 blah. And then you have to click that and enable order. Uh, 
So it's going to cost me just a little fee, uh, 74 pulse. It's going to cost me to do that. We'll click confirm. Yeah, click the view status there. Oh, that won't show up. It's no use uh, clicking view status because it takes a little while for the uh, block scout to, uh, um, to you know, fix itself up. Right, let's see if that ticks away eventually. It might show up there. What else? Uh, uh, Suitman says Suitman hexagon has six sides with angles different from octagon. Octagon. Uh, yeah, did I say something around that? Was that from yesterday? Maybe it's from yesterday. You're talking about uh, with the uh, pulse chain ecosystem map. Maybe that was it. What you're referring there. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. What I just did there. That seems to. Uh, Sure, what that what happened there? I just did something, but uh, not sure what that was. What happened there? No, that's not what I expected to see. No, oh, I don't know sure what happened there, but anyway, I'm up uh, four. Well, I'm almost back at a break even. Um, so uh, I was down about two point six percent. Now I'm only down uh, zero point four percent. Um, so yeah, I'm sure what happened with my. Um, if you had an order open, that's the order. Uh, if, like if you did a limit order, uh, for example, if you did a limit order over here, set the price before you open the trade, then that's going to be order down here. And then when if that price gets hit, uh, whether you're going long or short, it's going to jump into here into positions that'll be live. That's basically your live trades. That's your history there. Um, oh, what, what am I on there? Oh, that's right, because I'm on uh, I'm on the wrong wrong token there. Let me have a look at Pulse. Uh, my pulse chart. Right, I'm not sure what happened to my close there, but uh, that's not showing up. In any case, um, I'm only two cents out of the money at the moment, so um, I'm almost back in the money. That's the fingers crossed on that. You know, I just got the big I left you comment in there, unfortunately. Um, Right, uh, we've got Blair in the house there as well. Hi all, good to see you Blair. Welcome to chat there. I'm not sure what you're on about for Refine, so we're going to leave that topic. We'll leave that topic today. All right, uh, so we wrap up? We're now in 30 minutes. Now we'll leave this trade uh, open probably, unless they get absolutely obliterated. Um, and then, of course, uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'll see you in Discord. If you haven't joined our Discord, the link's in the video description. Uh, and I hope you guys have had a good time. Fame is live. That's a big deal. Uh, it's certainly going to be something that a lot of people on centralized exchanges that do margin trading can now come over and trade on Pulse Pulse chain uh, with uh, with their um, with their funds and, and of course it's better on DeFi because it's your keys your coins right um, so if they're going to do it on centralized exchanges they might as well come and do it in true DeFi and at least own the keys to their coins and not have that uh, that risk about you know what if an exchange gets uh, gets hacked or whether the exchange doesn't want to give you your coins back. Uh, because some issue or whatever, uh, you're not having to beg and uh, you know and uh, trying to get your your, your funds back. So uh, it's you know good from that point of view. It's halfway house, isn't it? Uh, pretty cool. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care, everybody, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I wish me luck with the trade, and I'll see you then. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs> Let's play out some cool music though, because uh, music is uh, fun. Music is fun. Let's play out a rich art because we uh, rich arts music is the best. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye. Here in my $3,000 Valentino rock stud purse, my $3,000 Prada jacket, $2,000 Prada shirt, two or $3,000 Prada pants, Prada glasses, Prada hat, Prada bracelet, and it's all Prada, 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 Prada shirt, Prada hat, Prada glasses, Prada pants, and it's all so the haters' tears fall right off. Right off. Right off.